Greetings and welcome back to Eco. I'm Catherine of Sky, and it's been actually a couple of days since I've played my own world. I've been playing on the KOS test server, which is not open to the public yet, but um, I've been playing with a small group of friends, and uh, we're just seeing kind of how things work and how things go and, and what laws we need to figure out and stuff like that, and it's been so much fun. And multiplayer, I gotta say, is a completely different experience from single player. So I'm kind of adjusting back in, into my own world and, and seeing how things are going, and I'm very pleased that my own Oak trees are growing well. Right, so I've been looking and figuring out what we need to do. Uh, and I think we need to just kind of progress up the uh, skill points trees and things like that. So first thing I want to get is cooking, because apparently I don't have this done. So we're getting advanced smelting. Oh, and cooking is actually already done. Look at that. I apparently thought ahead of myself here. So we need seven roasts. Okay. And are we making those things? Let's go and ask our butchering table. Did you make roast? Ah, you're still making roast projects. Okay. And the campfire, are you still cooking those roasts? Hello, campfire. Yes, you are. Okay, so this is just taking forever. That's all it's doing. It's just taking a while. One of the things that I, I noticed that if you cancel a project, even if some stuff has been completed, um, you do not get full skill points. So, or you don't get any skill points at all. So I'm not going to, I'm going to try not to cancel any of my crafting activities because uh, that's kind of important. Um, one thing I also learned is that if you want to get rid of a large amount of, uh, what do you call this stuff? Dirt. Dirt is what it's called. Um, the easiest thing to do is just put a crafting table next to your massive amount of dirt uh, and craft it into ramps for your cart. Now our multiplayer world has huge, huge, huge amounts of uh, roads connecting pretty much everything. I don't think I'll need them in this world just because it's just me. And I only need a place or I only need roads to go where I need to actually get product from with the cart. If I can carry it myself, I don't think I actually need them. But yeah, it's been a very interesting to to play in a different way. Uh, so it's kind of kind of cool. All right, I do. I did. Uh, I was looking through my skill points, and there is one that we have not trained at all yet, and that is electronics. So we'll click this. Okay, we're gonna need to build some stuff. Wow, electronic engineering efficiency, fiberglass, gold flakes, stuff, oh my gosh. Mechanics, there are things, combustion generator. I was looking at getting possibly oil researched. Did we get glass working yet? Let's see, I think it's under, is it masonry? Oh yes it is, look at that. Okay, we have glass production efficiency. Okay, that's good. And we have some amount of glass construction. Yeah, glass construction is interesting. I think, I don't know if I should train up stone construction or brick construction. I have to say I'm slightly annoyed that um, you have to train those separately. Like the, the ability to change these blocks uh, if we go to stone construction it's here, right, is that this one? Mortared stone construction. If we buy another level up, there's cement and then this is bricks. Oh, you can construct with all three of them. Okay, that's pretty handy, but it, it's still irritating. Um, so anyway, each one of these guys that you buy gives you another block. Let me just show you real quick here. And uh, so if we go and switcheroo this thing, we now have the ability to make stairs and these blocks, those blocks, and the, these are supposed to be sloped blocks-ish. Okay, so those are roof blocks and they're kind of funky. I wonder how you can make them like a bigger slope. Can you just, Okay, so you just kind of keep on building them. They're very kind of funky. But anyway, you can also build windows with these blocks. And I'm kind of curious about that, how that's going to work. Let's just get rid of all these again. Okay, let's get back get back that, uh, that thing there. Okay, and level three gets us what? Window frames. Look at that. Ain't that pretty? 
I think we were gonna want window frames here. Actually, they look quite nice in here. That's very, very pretty. I like them out of stone too. So it contrasts with the uh, the wood here. Same thing with the uh, brick stuff. That looks very pretty. I like them. I do, I do like them. Uh, and yes, you can build doors. I am not going to build doors because personally, <laughs> personally, I like to walk in and out of the house. Otherwise, you got to click to open the door. That's one thing I love about Staxel is that you don't have to click to open the door. I think it's great that you don't have to. Ooh, whoops. Well, I'll put some windows up here too. So don't look for doors in this playthrough because I won't have them unless it's just on a... <laughs> on a uh, building that I never go in. I'll just put it that way. Okay, do I have any more of these things? Hello? Did I completely run out of bricks? No, there's some in that far one. Okay, I won't mess with that right now, though. We'll just, um, we have that. Do we, is there another block? Well, maybe I will mess with it. Okay, these are all over there, unfortunately. Let's put them in. Ooh, is that glass? I think it is glass. I want to put them in stockpile two. Whoopsies. Clicked on the wrong one. Yeah, we'll put some of these guys. Yeah, maybe we will mess with the windows right now. Why not? Just want to put some in there. Oh, we do have some glass. Now glass, uh, I'll carry this one. Glass is also kind of interesting because it enables you to just put a pane of glass. Is this all I have? Okay, I, I do have the right tool. There it goes. Okay, so these are just clear glass things um, to, to shut out the butterflies, I assume, that uh, that walk by. Okay, let's put the glass back in. Not really interested in holding that at the moment. Well, that's the edge storage. I'll put it in the two. That's okay. I don't appear to have any stone on. Oops, let's go and get one thing at the least. Let's get these guys. All right, and so what else do we have? Is there another block that we have? Okay, there are two more blocks. So let's, you know what? We'll just buy all of the stone construction things just so we can see what they are. Okay, so level four. All right, windows. Oh, okay, so this is a column, presumably. Oh, nice. Okay, I like the columns. Those are cool. We have windows, stairs, block, that. Oh, square blocks. Okay, as opposed to these blocks. Okay, so the square ones are definitely more square. These have like a little bit more texture to them. Uh, what else do we have? We got we got straight walls, square walls, roofs, those windows. Okay, so that's what you get when when you have your construction options. Pretty cool. I've never explored them until now. So I'm, and I'm actually quite jealous because I don't, I can't get them in the multiplayer world because I have too many professions already. So I'm having to rely on other people to put stuff in, but I'm glad I can count on them to make cool stuff. So there we go. We have, oh God, <laughs> scared me to fall off. Oh dear. So yeah. And it looks quite pretty to have these, uh, these, uh, these things instead of just open gaps. So I'll put them in. And you know, on the other walls, I can uh, just have red windows like in these walls, or I could put the stone ones in. So this is what a stone looks in stone. It is very monochromatic, which I'm not a fan of. Um, I may change them to red windows later just so they stand out, or I might just change the entire wall, how it, how it looks, but it is looking nicer. So I'm happy to see that at least. I think we have, uh, dee, 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 dee. let's open, there we go. I'll just grab a whole stack for now. I wonder if I have any, it does make it harder to see out the window, however. <laughs> that is for sure. Oh, but I can't do it out of red brick because I'd then have to train up brick construction, uh, which I don't have. So, yeah, that doesn't work well. So I also learned that the property thing only matters when it's counting your house. And in multiplayer, it defines an area that you can, um, 
that you have control over and you can grant other people access to that control you know if they can chop trees on your property or not or if they can take your stuff or whatever how that works so okay we need we need lumber to make charcoal oh, there's an elk over there oh i was looking at the tailoring table too there is some nice stuff here Huckleberry seed project Ooh. But looks like we got some seeds. All right. There is some other stuff. There's a work backpack here. Lighter backpack that causes lower calorie consumption. This sounds absolutely ideal. So I'm going to order one of these. Um, and I'm also going to order, let's see, there's work boots, calorie shoes. So I'm going to order that as well. I need 30 hides. That's incredible. And 20 cellulose. So let's queue up the cellulose. I think I'll just queue up a bunch of cellulose fiber. I need at least 20, so let's make like 50. An hour and 20 minutes to make that. Holy fuzzy cats. Well, in any case, I will still need to get the hides. And these are leather hides that I need. So they're, they're made from elk and bison uh, and turkey. Okay, so we'll keep that in mind as we go out into the world. I just saw an elk over here. But um, yeah, we'll need to hunt some stuff down for sure. Get our bow out. Let's see. Wow. Look at all of these beautiful trees that are growing up in this area. My central oak is back, coupled with many friends. A lot of friends for the oak. Oh, wow. This one grew here and completely de destroyed my road, but that's okay. I don't mind. I have now a gorgeous oak grove here oh, and there are more oaks. Look at these guys populating. Unless those ones died. Let's check on them. Let's see. How are you little tree? Are you okay? It's still here. It's alive because it'll say if it died. Okay. They are still alive and uh, we can actually start maybe harvesting more trees if we wanted to. So did we ever plant those seeds? <laughs> Probably not. I feel like we have way too many of these anyway. I don't think we even need to plant the uh, fireweed. They're just kind of growing all over the place. So that's something. Uh, also, apparently, I um, uh, people actually fish off of piers. This is the way they do things. Or they jump into the sea and uh, and gather the fish from the bottom. You can press control to swim downward. Oh my god, my house looks interesting. <laughs> it's horrible looking, actually. This is my workshop. Not It's not a house. Let's be clear about this. This is definitely not a house. A house could not look that horrible. So, um, now, I was going to make... We need, yeah, we need cooking because salads are the end-all, apparently, for the world of, of stuff. Okay, let's make some iron bars because we have the materials for it. Okay, and copper too, just so we have a little bit of production and we can get that going. Uh, also, I should tell you that my mine apparently is unique um, in that it has very, very few minerals. Um, the mines in the test server all are filled with ores. Mine is the only one I think here that has like all stone. So anyway, it's... It's interesting for sure, but just something to think about, keep in mind. Okay, let's walk back up here and we will, do we have any wood? I don't know if we have wood. I want to repair my shovel. Even though it costs more, I feel like it's silly to build a new tool every time. That just like makes my craftsman's heart ache. My bones cry out. It's just awful. Uh, let's get that back. I want it back. We apparently have no stone. Do we have stone over there? In this pile? Also, I should transfer these things over. Okay. Yeah, we want to do to stockpile one. Let's get these ores here. Because I could use those. I could just transform them into bars and they would no longer take up our area here. Do we... I, I need to see if we have any lumber. So let's let's cue those new bars. Okay, like 
20. All right, cool. Now then, uh, wood machines are upstairs. Yeah, I'm gonna have to redo this workshop because it does look dreadful, absolutely dreadful. I completely agree. Do we need any seeds? I think we're good on seeds. Let's store these other seeds. Where would, would they go here? Uh, also, you can link specific um, when you when you go on a multiplayer server, it doesn't auto link to each chest, which we found extremely annoying in the beginning. And then I kind of looked at it, it's like, hmm, this is interesting that, you know, you could have the seed maker only link to the source chest and the output chest if you wanted to prevent it from storing in all these other chests. So that's something that you might want to keep in mind. Okay, this is fern spores and beans. We'll keep the beans in there for now. But yeah, we have we have stuff. It's like my diet is doing really well at the moment. So that's good. Let's get a little bit of food to take with us. And we need, what else do we need? We've got some meat scraps. That's good. These are the deeds to various carts. I have a regular cart on me. That's something I want to want to have. I, I need to make some more arrows, looks like it. And I'll go collect the fish. Oops, there's arrows. Nice. Actually, we'll take two sets of these guys. We'll go make some more arrows. Let's go check our fish, um, fish things going on. Yeah, <laughs> on the test server, we have millions and millions of fish, like millions of them. Okay. We have a few of these guys. Good. Take those back home. Maybe I should do that. In fact, um, I'm thinking about making a uh, pier out into the middle of the ocean and uh, and collecting fish there. Oopsie, I'm getting a little bit of a lag spike. That's interesting. Of course, now fish cleaning is its own profession, I believe. Uh, which we didn't have before. That came with the new patch. So let's see about that. Uh, it's under... Is it under hunting? Okay, so there's fishing. And then there is fish cleaning. Which we probably could do. I think we've just been cooking them. Straight up. That sounds really good. Let's get this one. This is fairly cheap. Okay, decrease salmon cost by 50%. That sounds good. Bow damage. Wow, that's expensive. I'm not going to buy that one. So, nope. Can we cook? Uh, where do we clean the fish? Let's figure that one out. Scrap meat prime cut. How do you make fish? for use in clean salmon recipe, which is done where? Crafted at a fishery. Oh, all right, so you use the fishing thing. That's good. It's uh, useful for more than just making fish traps. I approve. There we go. And there we go. We have 10 of these, so I guess we can make, let's see, 10 times a half is 20. There we go. Could make a hundred of these just by cleaning ten fish. That's pretty good. I think we're we're good with that order. Let's go. Uh, and that's going to generate us some very nice skill points. It does take a long time, twenty minutes, for that to finish up. But I think it'll it'll make a big difference to us. So, all right. Next thing, I want to figure out how to get to the higher levels of tech here. That's really what I'm. Very curious about. Okay, advanced smelting needs more bricks. So let's see what we need for bricks. We need stone, 365 stone, which is a lot of stone. <laughs> that is a lot of stone. Okay, we'll go down and get some stone and hopefully get these bricks organized. Oh, my cart seems to have turned over. That's okay though, I don't mind. So put our cart here. 
And then just grab stone. Yeah, this I, I'm so kind of weirded out because this is a very different environment from from the group area, and uh, it's kind of interesting how how planets spawn and what kind of worlds you get, and and who your neighbors end up being, and and it's neat because we found that you know as we're neighboring with people, uh, we have some. Um, kind of what do you call them like synergies that are developing and we help each other out as well as helping the entire group out and it's a lot of fun um just to do that i i have to say that there is some amount of frustration as uh, you know not everybody's on at the same time and um you know once you assign your skill points uh you you have them and but sometimes we've decided to refund them and, and do other things, but we're trying to figure out a way that that's going to work in multiplayer a lot better. So, um, yeah, but it's overall, it's been a lot of fun to, to play with friends. I'm not sure how it will work with, um, you know, with the public, with, uh, random people that we've never met before. You know, we don't know how everyone plays, um, but if you're starting your own server, one of the things that we did agree is that everybody's going to have to know how to play the game. Like, don't just come in first time to play on the server. You should you should probably play at least the tutorial on your own and learn how to play the game. Because, you know, if you have a lot of new people coming around and chopping all the trees that there are, there's going to be no more trees. So that's just something to keep aware of if you're thinking about starting your own server for the game. And uh, by the way, we did get it to run on a Linux server, even though it is not officially supported. Um, and if you need details, we'll probably put up a help file in the Discord if you are interested in, uh, in doing that. Or at least I can ask the people who put it up if they would mind <laughs> sharing some tips. Um, so anyway, but uh, yeah, or you can run it on Windows, of course. So just depends what you have and what's going on. But yeah, it's been very, very interesting. So you can pick these up by holding E. Thank you for the person who mentioned that. Um, though I find that sometimes it doesn't quite connect all the time very well. So anyway, it's all good. Oh, no, no, I want that one. I want it. Seems to help if you move around a lot. I'm just noticing that. Because if you just hold it in the same place and there's not something, and there is something behind it, uh, sometimes it always doesn't always pick up straight away. So, so anyway, like that one, I pointed to it and it didn't pick it up, even though I was holding E. All right, got to get them those bricks made, and the roasts are taking forever as well. I should have started them on two different campfires. I suppose I didn't really realize how how slow it was going to be. But if you have a lot of projects, it's definitely worth having multiple crafting stations. Uh, one thing that somebody asked me, and this kind of also relates to our multiplayer game, is um, do I like, do I think that having the meteor hitting the planet is a good game mechanic? Uh, having not played through the entire game, I can't really answer that altogether. Um, I would say that having the meteor provides a reason for people to play if they need a reason to play. Um, on the multiplayer server, because all of us were pretty much newbies, except, I mean, I, I was the only one that had really played at all. Um, we turned the meteor off, just completely off. I mean, and we're no, in no danger of, um, you know, of dying or anything. And the server runs 24-7. Um, but we found that it's like... Yeah, we're going to upgrade our tech, but we're just having fun being friends and playing this game, and it's very enjoyable to play. So, as to the question, I think it's okay. If you need a reason to play, then you have a reason to play. Otherwise, eh, just turn it off. It's all good. And I believe that you can turn it off in um, it just in the regular console with the console commands. Um, you can go to the wiki to find those. Oh, I need to... Repair my thing. There we go, please. Okay, it's not linked, so let's link it. Repair. Repair. Let's pick up these guys. Come 
Come on. See that one? It didn't pick up. All right. Just, um, mine a few more blocks. I think I prefer prefer my mines to be ten or four tall instead of just three. But it's also cool to see how other people do things and how they build and what's important to them, stuff like that. So, all right, let's go pull the cart to the beginning of the mine. Okay, our work boots are halted. What about other stuff? Did those, uh, did the backpack finish? Work boots is still complaining. I suppose my backpack pack must have finished. Okay, we'll go and check that out once we are there. Right, so can we transfer this stuff from... There it is, there's the cart. Okay, and apparently somebody told me that if you move these, it remembers which ones are linked in which order. So that can be useful, potentially. Okay, and all this is going to that brick project, which is great. All right. So then I can just drag the cart back here, or I could have just picked it up, which is probably a lot easier. I like to park it this way. All right, let's go and see that backpack, if it's done or not. Just give a little variety to our mining here. Oh, and by the way, I did find out that those skill points on the left, the 1,055 from, from eating and 141 from the house, are those are actually per 24 hours of server time. Or in single player, it's actually play time. I haven't seen if there's a way to turn on, like I don't know if you have to run the, the game all the time or if it could just do calculations if you turn off the game um, or not. But that's something that I would like to look into because I might actually want this planet to run while I'm not here. So it's a work backpack. Okay, let's see. We're going to test them out. I want to see if that actually works. And the shoes, the boots are still going, I think. Okay. So I lost my way. There we go. Here we go. And we just need a little bit more stone. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to strike a rock and figure out how many skill points it takes. Okay, that was 17.91. Now the next blow is expected to be this uh, just a little bit more. 17.91. All right, let's try this new backpack. Confirm. All right. Uh, 16.1. Okay, so it used um, like almost two less calories. That's pretty significant per action. That's not too bad. Oh, okay. Oh, I forgot to drop those off. Silly me. Sometimes I do that to take more stuff as just carry some in my inventory, but it doesn't definitely doesn't help when you forget to take it out. Okay, so that's really good. I'm, I'm excited about that. With the running shoes, um, I don't, if it might be more difficult to tell if they make you go faster. These also, we're going to get the calorie calorie um, reduction boots. So hopefully we'll be much more calorie efficient, which is good news for the cooking front. Okay. These, these, and these. Boom. Could have sworn I already had cooking, but maybe not. Uh, not that one. It is skills, which is... Is there a hotkey for this? There probably is. Cooking? Nope. It's researching, so we obviously haven't had it yet. I guess I was just overexcited whenever I saw it, because I could have sworn I was like already making salads, but maybe in another parallel universe where I am doing similar things. I should be just going further back into the wall instead of going to the right. Okay. Cart. Okay. I was actually planning on doing this so that there's less walking distance toward the cart. Grab 
grab all these things. Got 20, good. Okay, and also playing multiplayer, there's a great sense of accomplishment and satisfaction when you can work with, with people and get things done and kind of band together. It's like, oh yeah, hey, can you make me some boards because I need to make a cart? Or, um, you know, can you make me this and I'll make that for you? And it's kind of neat, very, very cool. Um, we're at the point where we're more relaxed about materials like, um, like wood. Wood is always a big, 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 big thing. Um, where we're managing forests and we're trying to grow new forests and conducting environmental experiments actually and seeing how the game actually works like is it possible to turn a grassland into a forest area does that need to happen over time do we need to have special fertilizers for it um, and things like that so it's becoming kind of an, almost an experimental playground for us and that also uh, keeps our interest in playing but sharing materials is also very fun uh, especially when you're playing with generous people, people who are, are happy to to share things with you and, and you're happy to share things with them. It, it makes things really fun to do. Okay, is this cart ready yet? Come on, we just need a couple more <laughs> things of stone. There we go. Man, I wish that they didn't have these extra giant chunks. They're kind of annoying. Though some people, I guess, would say, oh yes, it provides variety. I guess it does to some degree, but still needs nine bricks. We're almost there. Oops. Come on, can I have that one? Thank you. But yeah, it's pretty important. I need to upgrade or repair my tool. There we go. I wish this was like a repair efficiency skill. If anyone knows about that, do let me know, because that would be pretty useful to have. So I feel like repair costs way too much, just way too much in general. Um, and of course, I've had suggestions, oh, just throw the throw out the old tools, um, but that just feels cheaty, really cheaty. I mean, not cheaty, but it just feels wrong. Like, you know, you wouldn't, you wouldn't, you would not throw out a dishwasher if it um, if it ran out of I don't know, never mind. This is not a good example. <laughs> uh, let me turn up the brightness again. Like for example, you're you're cooking and you're using a knife. You don't throw out your knife when it becomes dull. You just sharpen your knife, and it takes very little time. It takes very little effort. You don't have to make a new eye new knife at all. Okay, here we go. Oh, let me get the one that I'm carrying as well. Okay, we actually have an excess of stone, finally. Wow, that's impressive. Okay, let's go back up uh, and see. We're gonna get this book in a moment. Is the cooking done yet? Come on, cooking book. <laughs> it's just missing that one roast. Okay, this is still missing five bricks. The bricks should be coming along. You're done, right? Okay, just a few more seconds to make those bricks. And soon we'll hopefully get a bunch of skill points too. Now let's check the uh, tailoring table. Still haven't good, found a good solution for light yet. Um, wood is so expensive, I don't want to use torches. Uh, somebody also mentioned to me that they think it's a bug that the torches disappear when I log out. Uh, so that's, you know, for what it's worth, that's what it is. All right, we still need 24 hides. So I think that would be a nice project for now. Oh, I forgot to turn off my map some for some reason. But that's okay. We can use it to to hunt stuff. Actually, we don't need it to hunt stuff. We need it to get back home, which is entirely a different thing altogether. My my small tofato farm looks very small, <laughs> very very small. Okay, let's go up and see if we can find some bison or something. They give some very very decent. Um, 
produce. They're big animals. Going to get a lot of hide, a lot of uh, meat from bison. There's one. I did get the upgraded. Let me, uh, first of all, let's just eat. There's nothing worse than needing a snack in the middle of the bison hunt. That is, uh, oh my god, one's right there. I've gotten quite good at bison hunting, actually. Um, also, it takes seven arrows to kill a bison with no upgrades to hunting damage. Uh, but this, that was like four on that animal there. One. I don't know if that was one. It might have been two. That one missed. This is this one's being really very squirrely with me. He knows how to hide. Oh god, come on. Sometimes I wish you could shoot earlier, but you do have to wait till the bowstring is drawn taut. There we go. Right, that's two. Okay. Let's see what else we've got. There's a turkey. I don't really like turkeys because they they take two shots and they're very hard to kill because they're very, very small. Though they do give leather uh, instead of the furry pelts, which is a good thing for our purposes at the moment. I would like to get um, a number of bison to process at the same time so that we can make use of the efficiency bonus. Okay. Wow, this is quite a pretty area here. There's some foxes and some wolves over there. It's kind of cool. I will not go and hunt those though because they are very difficult to kill. Oh, that's lovely. Look at this picture. It's very nice. I take pictures where I go. It's like being on a nature walk. Okay, oh, there we go. Hello, bison. I think the best bet for furry pelts are probably rabbits, or hares, I should say, um, because, okay, they take one hit from even un an unupgraded bow. Oh, did I get it? I think I got it, but I have to get it again. There we go. Got that turkey. Not going to go for the other one. But the foxes run so darn fast. Alright, we need four cellulose fibers and 24 leather hides. We are doing really well on the hides front at the moment. Alright. I'll be excited to get those calorie reduction boots too. Go and hunt this scope. Two. Okay. Three and four. Okay, maybe five. Oops. Okay, I missed that one. There we go. So either four or five. I'm not sure if I missed that one shot. All right, all the animals are running. There's a hare out there. There we go. Nice. Good, good shot. I always like to get hairs if I possibly can. Just because... Ah. There we go. Because they have the furry pelts. And I'll probably process them all at the same time so I get a decent uh, efficiency bonus. I don't know how much I have in efficiency in those particular skills, but all right, where are we? Go this way. Also, swimming is a very fast way of traveling if perhaps you've <laughs> uh, if you've gotten your cart uh, fallen over on the road and, and it happens to be right next to a cliff next to a river. You can't quite get out. 
Uh, you can swim. And that's kind of fun. Alright, is there anything here? We're looking for animals. I think I can probably take a couple more bison, maybe one or two. I don't know. Not seeing anything so far, though. No kind of animals. We've also determined that you can't really drown. So you can swim underwater and collect your fish traps for as long as you want. Which is pretty efficient. Pretty fun. What do we got here? Those are, oh, those are just flowers. There are like no animals here. This is really odd. Okay, let's go up this way then. See if we can find some more. But one thing that might be worth noting is that um, we're playing with about, I don't know how many people, maybe seven or eight or nine. But the default world is very small, as you can see from my world. And I don't even, I don't have a lot of land on mine. But imagine sharing all of this with many more people who also have their own needs and wants and, uh, and building plans and things. So I've seen servers on the server browser that seem to have double or quadruple size worlds. So we'd probably be going for one of those if we were going to do like uh, a larger server with more people on it. Okay, what do we got here? That looks so weird. It's like a preformed mountain. Just looking right now for, for stuff. Wow. That looks really cool. That landscape. Let me just get take a picture of this thing. Looks very interesting indeed. I wonder if that's just those this here, I wonder if there's more mountain that we're not seeing or if that's snow that's melted or what. But anyway. Alright, let's go back to our map. Kinda walk around. I'm surprised I'm not seeing more animals. I thought I would be. I thought, yeah, we don't need the map view for hunting bison. No way. But maybe we do. We may do. They tend to, to congregate on the grasslands from what I've seen, which is, you know, how it happens in real life. They're plains animals. So let's see. Hello, bison. Where are you? We need you. Oh. There you are. Oh, bison in the mist. Right there. All right, let's turn down the brightness. Even though it looks beautiful, we'll just um, not get blinded by the morning sun because that's slightly inconvenient. More than slightly, actually, to be fair. All right, I hope I can climb up here. I think this is kind of where I started, isn't it? At least it looks similar. Did I hit it at all? Okay, there we hit it for once, twice, three times, and four times. Not enough. Oh, nope. Come on. Oh dear. There we go. Five times. Still better than seven times in any case. Gonna cost me 30, 30 points to get the next level. I think we're just about home right now. Oh, and there is a form of fall damage. It takes its form in terms of calories. The calories mitigate the damage. So, wow, look at how much of this grass has died here. Jeez. I think this is our bush farm. Dang. There's the fireweed farm that we haven't set up yet. All right, we have five, wow, five bison. Is that enough to make use of our um, oopsies, skill points in that butchery? Okay, it's not under chefery, chefering, chefing, um, cooking. <clears throat> okay, it's under butchery and we got level five prepared meat. Yeah, we have that maxed out. What is this? Large butchery efficiency. And this is, okay, for making roasts and things. I guess, yeah, we should get at least 50%, I think. And then this one is much cheaper to get up to, that's 65% now. Speed, I don't really care about. Speed is not really interesting. 
We can always just make a second table to do it. Is this brightness? It's not 107. Okay. I don't want to turn it down from there. It just seems extra bright to me. There's some animals down that way. There's a turkey. Try to get the turkey. Yeah, I did get it. I did not get it that time. Not smart chasing animals into the sun. Oh my god, it was like struggling. That poor thing. There's a turtle there. There's a. Oh, is that a fox? Fox, yeah. Another turkey. Um, I thought there was an elk out here, but I don't see it anymore. Okay, well, in any case, we have some stuff. Let's go back to the house. Is the house here? Did I lose my house? No, it is over there. Okay. It's just further than I thought it was. Yeah, this is our copper mine that we like. Ah, there it is. It is on the horizon. Hello, house. Now that I have some better blocks, I should probably try to make my house prettier. Wow. Gosh, everything looks very bright. Let me just change it back again. Let's see. 100%. That somehow looks better. Maybe it just didn't work properly the first time. Right. Let's repair the bow. Okay. And we're ready to do life. To do things and stuff. Are they both done now? Almost missing one roast. Come on, roast. Hurry up. So what happened? Are you... You're done. This thing is done. So why does this not have its extra roast? We're missing one roast. Really, game. All right, let's see, where did you... See, now this also bewilders me. It says it's done. But did we get the skill points for it? And did it actually finish? Okay, advanced smelting is done. Let's learn that, first of all. Okay, and... Put this thing... Did I make another box for it? Apparently not. All right, we'll just put it here. We got a few of our bars, which is very nice. Um, some fish. Is there a roast? Can we make another roast? Let's find out. Campfire roast. Let's order. Ooh, we don't have one. Two from three. Yeah, let's do this. Let's make two more roasts. I guess I ran out of meat or something. Okay, that's going to take a while. It's going to take two minutes for each roast, and then it's got to be cooked. Okay, that's fine. We can also make some sausage if we wanted to from the scrap meat. Uh, that's that's an available thing for us. Anything else from scrap meat? Not yet. Uh, and then we've got the butcher bison thing. Let's see. We can make from five animals. We can make el ten orders of this. That's thirty hide and two hundred meat. Wow, that's impressive. All right, we're gonna order that then. Uh, we have three hairs, so we're going to make eight orders of this, which is great for the fur pelts. And turkey-wise, okay, we'll make five from two. Okay, and we're all set, and this is going to be going for a while. Well, that, that feels good. feels very uh, accomplished. All right, let's put away these seeds and the old backpack and stuff. What is this? That's the, another old backpack. Okay, so we're going to use the work backpack for now. Uh, we also have our property claim flags. Do, 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 do. More seeds. There's some seeds. Let's put these seeds over here. 
corn over here. Yeah, I have a very different view of like how I want to do things now. It's very kind of interesting how your how your viewpoint changes when you do certain things. Why don't I see my property? Oh, they're there. They're right at the top, right where I never would look for them. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and food storage is here. Good. We just need cooking. We really, really need cooking. I do need a lot more arrows, though. Let's go and uh, make some arrows. Okay. Let's make, like, 300 arrows. Wow, that's a lot of arrows. I don't want really 1,200. I want... What, how many do they make? Makes 12? Really? Per one log? That's very impressive. Uh... No, something is... Okay, for one log, it makes four. Right, so we want 25 for each 100, so 75. Yeah, that's good. That'll work for us. Um, and let's figure out how to do the lumber. Is that here, or is that at a different table? Wooden straw bed. Must be at different table. Let's go upstairs and we'll see. Completely forgotten which one it'll be. Oh, this right. This uh, this table saw. Or sawmill, they call it. Okay. Yeah, we're going to need some of this for sure. Do we have the efficiency for this? This is lumber. Used in a bunch of stuff. Let's take our carpenter profession lumber and wow, we have zero efficiency right now. I think we need to get it. This is lumber processing. That's craft time. Oh, we actually have level four. Okay, I see. I see that's what we did there. All right. And if we need to, what is this? Shelves, wooden sign, fabric bed, sawmill, sawboards. Oh, decreases hewn log cost by a percent sawn boards. Is that the same as the other boards that we had? Or did they change them around a bit? This is construction. I wonder what these look like when you construct them. Now I'm curious. Okay, so this is board recipe, and the other one is sawn boards. Hmm. wonder how many we'll need in that. I'm very, very... <laughs> I'm wondering now. All right, let's make, like, 60 of these. Well, not 60. But clearly not 60. We can't make even 20 of them. It's going to cost me 25 points for... Oh, I don't think so. I don't think we can do that. Unless we leave the game on overnight and let it just tick away. Um, 15. All right, we can make a few. All right, we're gonna make 14. So let's do those. Let's make lumber and look at this. You need wood pulp for making lumber as well. Uh, definitely something that's important to not make pitch out of. <laughs> man, oh man. What are we making over here? We got a cart, powered cart. I need to make a combustion engine. Make it at a machine shop, which you get with at an anvil machine shop. Okay, really? Let's look. Let's check it out. Ceiling candles. Nice. Uh, machine shop. Hey, we could potentially make one of these. Let's make one. We need one. Let's go. All right. Let that one proceed. Why is this not working? Power grid has insufficient power. Right. We need power. What else does a machine shop make, I wonder? Because I know there's a combustion engine recipe there. We got our generator. We need pist pistons and a combustion engine. This needs pistons, gearboxes, and iron ingots. I feel like we're going to need to be mining iron like crazy. 
Okay, I think we now have our new gen our, our new direction to go in. Let me let's go and look at oil again real quick. Uh, right, how to get oil, the oil recipe. Okay, oil drilling. Right here it is. Yeah, we're gonna need stuff combustion engine. I think we're going to need oil to start getting proper power because we're going to run out of coal soon enough. So I, I bet you use oil within those combustion engines. And we need reinforced concrete. All right, there's much to do. So anyway, I think this is a good time to end this episode now that we have a whole new skill path tree available for us. I'm going to go cut down a few trees probably and, um, and then be back. But anyway, thank you so very much for joining me. Take care of yourselves and each other, and I'll see you next time.